So after I do the drop on certain days, because I've had him for like a number of days in a row, so I always feel like I need a treat. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to a place I've never been, Kitchen Mouse Bakery. I've been to Kitchen Mouse Cafe, but the bakery's just around the corner. Uh, never been, get a coffee, get some treats. So let's go. All right, it's 10 a.m. I wanted to get so many things at that place. It's so good, everything's vegan, but I'll go back, so it's fine. I got, Cute little bag. It's a breakfast sandwich with the croissant. I hope it didn't get too soggy sitting there. It's got impossible sausage, just egg, cheese, jalapenos. I shouldn't have bought a coffee, but it's like impossible not to. But then I'm like, it would have tasted better if I just made it at home. Um, I also got a blueberry muffin. I asked what their favorite was and the girl said the blueberry muffin, which is what I was thinking about. Everything was so good there. I wanted to stop. I mean, I wanted to get more things. <sighs> I was so mad. I got to the front and I was filming the front. And then this stupid Karen's like, what are you doing? And I go, what am I doing? She goes, are you taking a video? And I said, yeah, not of you. Why would I want to film your ugly mug? kind of shit just makes me mad like go away it shouldn't be bothering me but it is one of those things that replays in your head and you're like can't i just let it go but like no i can't i just think you're such an idiot those are my true feelings this croissant is good damn they have like a chocolate one an almond one i never had these mm. so my house is a mess when I come back from daycare, I tidy up. But there's just stuff everywhere because I got back last night from Toronto. I was in Toronto for a week because my dad passed away, which we knew was going to happen. That's why I went there. So that happened. But he had a good visit with his grandson before. That made him happy. And then, have you ever heard this? Like right before somebody's about to die, they kind of have a surge of like energy where they like appear to be themselves. That happened. He sort of like was awake and like... He hasn't been in bad shape for a few months, but was like going and like talking. Well, he can't talk, but he was like being interactive with my baby like more than he had been ever. And I was like, that's it. Like that was the last thing. And then of course, yeah, like 24 hours later. And I'm leaving for Greece in a week. I thought I would squeeze in a vlog. This is the first one in this new house. Now, if you're unclear as to what's going on, that's because I didn't tell you. And I've only revealed it all in the life-changing issue of Eat It By Hot For Food. That is my member blog. Pay to be a member and access all the content. In this latest issue, it's vlogs of me moving here. Lots of stuff has gone on. Just showing some more intimate of behind the scenes that normally you would see on this channel, but I decided to keep it exclusive to the members. I'll be talking about it a little bit more throughout this vlog because I'm gonna share some other things. But yeah, become a member if you're not already. It's a great way to support me and what I do with Hot For Food. Click the link below and go check it out. There's two options you can become an annual member and get access to everything including all the giveaways and all the fun stuff or you can just buy access to this particular issue if you want to watch the vlogs so that's it i'm gonna finish eating this mm, so crunchy i just wanted to show you the muffin it's very soft more cake like there's no way it's gluten free I don't know if it is, but it seems like it is because it's a little grainy, but then it almost seems too soft. Crap, I think I have a cold. I can barely taste. I just had a cold. I've had a cold 
pretty much since September 15th. I mean, since February 15th, since I came back from Toronto the first time. And then baby's been in daycare, he got sick, and then we've just been getting a cold back and forth. I think that's my new normal. Oh, we got Stevie back. <laughs> we got Stevie back. Why are you coughing? Do you have a cough? You better not have a cough. You better not have a cough. It's National Pet Day, Stevie. Stevie, it's National Pet Day. <laughs> All right, I've done a lot, but only on the computer. Pretty much did nothing else. Dishes still in the sink from this morning, but it's almost 2.30. So I'm gonna think about some kind of lunch slash snack. I'm not that hungry, but funny enough, I, you may have seen on my Instagram, I shared some outstanding foods like puffs, like a cheesy type things. And then I won the prize pack for the Veg News Awards. So I got a box full of their cheese puffs. So I have bacon cheddar and jalapeno cheddar. Now this is not my, my lunch, but we're just gonna taste them. They're like little balls. Pea protein, yeah, you know, seasonings, red lentil, pea protein, brown rice. They're like healthy. Nutrients from a proprietary blend, broccoli, spinach, kale, pumpkin. Mm. I can give these to the boo-boo. Not that much salt. Bacon cheddar is good. Yeah, go find these products. All of them, there's like these crunchies, there's cheesies, these balls. Let's see how spicy these are. Ooh, these are like those things that you get in like, you know like that massive container? Like the non-vegan one. You know what else I have to do is take some vitamins. Now, I take all kinds of things. Right now I'm taking the Ritual Postnatal Multi. Those are good because I took the prenatal and now I'm taking the postnatal. I'm taking a high dose iron because they told me to do that for breastfeeding and whatever. Because I'm trying to ward off colds from the boo boo. I take a probiotic. I have these right now. I just have these seed ones that I got for free. So I take those. Almost out of my B, oh no, B12. Where's my B12? I just get a 5,000 microgram methyl whatever that's called, methyl cobalamin kind. I don't know what that means. Get the kind that's methyl is what I've been told. It absorbs better. I don't take that every day. High dose, 5,000 IU vitamin D. I'm taking zinc right now. 50 micrograms of zinc. Again, don't take that all the time. Also taking lysine that has vitamin C, echinacea, garlic, blah, blah, blah. I'm supposed to take three of these a day taking uh, Paul Stamets mushroom host defense stuff. That's again, an immune thing. I don't know why I'm taking extra omega-3s. Oh, I'm out, I'm out, my last two. So I gotta buy those. And sometimes I take, again, for immune, silver. I don't know. Timmy from Mississippi Vegan takes this. He says it works, I take it sometimes. I don't know, I don't know if that works. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've got my lettuce grow and it's ready to harvest some stuff. So that's what I can eat for lunch. Um, I've got like kale, mustard greens, butter lettuce, chard, cilantro, arugula. So I'm just gonna make like a salad or something. The gardeners are here. I say that that's just like a very LA thing. It's like if it's not your garden getting mowed or like leaf blowed, there's someone in the neighborhood. So at any given time, there's always a leaf blower sound in LA, no matter where you go, kind of annoying. <laughs> but it's nice to get your yard, you know, taken care of. I rent, so it's part of the rent. Uh, so yeah, okay, I got some stuff. And now it has to be walked really good because it's very dusty and dirty outside. I live near a highway, but like, I don't even know what's in here. Butter lettuce, shard, kale, I forget what I have. But how cool is this? Did you know that there's a way to do this? You're supposed to soak it or something? There was like a hack about a salad spinner on the internet and I forget it. <laughs> it's like soak it and then spin it? I forget. Now, I don't know why, but there's no pests on these and I'm not really sure how that happened. I shouldn't have jinxed it though. But nothing been eating this. It's seen that dirty. Whoa. This is a good salad spinner. Sometimes I hate using them. I hate taking them out, but you don't want soggy wet lettuce, especially delicate greens like these. Mm, they're pretty wet. <clears throat> okay, let's make this salad. I don't know what's going in it. 
you can just tear these. They're so tender. I mean, this kale does not require massaging. It's very soft. I'm gonna eat the stems and everything. Look at how healthy I am. <laughs> what else are we putting in this? Mmm, it smells so good. I have some vegan feta, the Trader Joe's brand, the Superior Elite vegan feta. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chop these pistachios. Some hemp hearts. I had a bit of salvageable dill here. That's gonna be nice. It's missing an extra crunch. Oh, I know. Oh, you thought I was gonna put cheese puffs on it. No, I have crispy onions. I think that's pretty good. The dressing is my leftover creamy carrot ginger dressing. This is from my Japanese wedge salad recipe that is in the membership blog. Eat it by hopping food. You gotta become a member. You'll actually have an opportunity to win a lettuce grow yourself. If you become an annual member and you're a paying member by the end of June, which is when I do the draw for the giveaway, you're automatically entered into it as well if you're an annual paying member. So there's the prize for the lettuce grow. There's also a beautiful vegan silk slip from Malin & Co. There's gear from Camp Brand Goods. There's pretzels, Saber by Suzy Pretzels. There's the vegan kit from uh, Veganuary, as well as a Juve uh, juice press. So go sign up, the link is below. Check it all out, it's definitely worth it. Then you'll get the recipe for this dressing. I think it just needs a light coating. Wow, my garden salad. Those are some good lettuces. I don't have to go buy greens at the store. Mmm. This is just that passion tea. Well, but actually I probably only show that on Instagram, not on YouTube. It's Tazo passion tea. Mm, caffeine free, tastes like juice. I have some of this um, chocolate I got for free. There's different kinds. Lemon cookie crunch I haven't opened. Triple nut crunch. Let's open this one and see. Lemon cookie in dark chocolate. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't hate it. It's good chocolate. The crunch is good. The lemon, it's interesting. I wouldn't buy that. The one that I like, chocolate cookie crunch. I have opened this one. The cookie crunch is like, um, reminds me of eating Hershey's cookies and cream bar. Anyway, I'm sitting here at the kitchen island working. I can't sit at my desk over there because there's no plug for stuff. There's no outlet. So I haven't really gotten fully set up in this new place. Like I'm set up enough, but it's definitely not fully functional, I would say, in the way I would like, but whatever. I always ever like partially move into places. I don't even move into places properly because I always just think I'm gonna leave again. Oh, the dog's all excited. I just went to Target to get her food, but I also got some other things. Favorite day, chocolate peanut butter, non-dairy ice cream. Favorite day is very good. Target in-house brand. Some cheap red wine for drinking. For the dog food. A 95 cent bag of broccoli, tofu that was on sale, creamer for my coffee, and a just egg. And now we're gonna make dinner with none of these things. Are you ready for your food? <gasps> Sit. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna make um, some kind of pasta. Okay, you're gonna laugh. This wine was $5 and it's not bad. <laughs> I just didn't wanna spend a lot of money on wine because I'm like, I hardly drink it ever, which means maybe I should spend more money on it, but I was like, you know what, let's give this $5 bottle a try. I have some grape tomatoes. I'm gonna roast these almost turning, but they're not yet, so we're gonna throw them in a pan. There's just one turn. So I go 450, and you don't need to put anything on them. You just get nice and juicy, no oil, nothing. So I'm making this because I wanted to use up the tomatoes. I wanted to use up the leftover marinara. I've got leftover quinoa brown rice spaghetti, or half a bag that I didn't want to use. These will be good leftovers for Boo Boo. And then I don't want to make just straight tomatoes, so I'm gonna like make it a cream sauce by adding, I think, uh, a little bit of cashews. Oh, I'm gonna add frozen spinach, I think I have, and maybe some of that broccoli. So in the blender, we're gonna go marinara. And I'm just gonna rinse this with water to get it all out. Like add it back in, if you know what I'm saying. See, Oop, get it all out. I soaked some cashews. I have still vegan caramelized onion cream cheese from Tabitha Brown's Target line. So we'll just add that in. Might need a little more liquid to get it going, like water. Let's see how that blends up. Nice rosé there. Great, done. Now I have some onion and shallot that I'll cook in the hot pan when the tomatoes are done, along with the spinach. That's it. Add the cooked pasta, add the sauce. Maybe I'll add some more garlic. Bing, bang, boom. <clears throat> My tomatoes are already so a real hot burner then. Olive oil now. The shallot and onion. We'll add a bunch of garlic. Noodles are cooking simultaneously, that's the key. I'm gonna add spinach, I don't really feel like adding the broccoli. It's frozen chopped. Can add some of the pasta water. And then we'll add our sauce. Ratios off. That never happens. That's okay. All right, let's eat. Doo -doo -doo. It looks and smells amazing. Stevie's looking for crumbs. Mm hmm. Half of this spilt on the counter my stupid tripod. Okay, going to eat now. Bye bye. Steven. Oh, Stevie. I'm just sitting here with Stevie watching um, Shrinking. And we must try the favorite day ice cream. I was letting it thaw. I don't think I've had the chocolate peanut butter one. I normally get mocha almond fudge. Mmm. -hmm. I think I like this one better. Mm, not better, just it's what I wanted now. I swear, get to a Target and get this. I'm just loafing here. It's my first day and night without Boo Boo in about eight days. So I'm just taking it all in here and I'm gonna get back to it. So thanks for watching. More what I ate in a day to come. Say bye. Bye bye. I'm gonna stop.
Okay, like now we're done. See you later. Say, see you later.